questioning sense with me, Matt. Okay, well today I'm quite excited. Um, a very good friend of mine has sent me a, a sample of a fragrance to try and to enjoy and obviously to review. Uh, and this is one that's really, really, really in my circles anyway, getting hyped. So I've been dying to sort of get, get my nose on it and see if the hype is real. Because um, it's certainly one of the most talked about fragrances, certainly online, I've come across lately. So this is going to be quite, uh, you know, it's been, been one that I'm really quite excited about. And we're looking at Mousse Lumine from Rogue Perfumery, which came out in 2018. And it's from the nose of Manuel Cross. Now he is quite an interesting character. He basically started Rogue Perfumery to, I think he was frustrated with some of the reformulation and uh, how fragrances have changed over the years. Because if you, I think the the, <clears throat> the main motivation is sort of like the eighties powerhouses and things like that that he really really liked. And you know, due to various regulations coming in and stuff like that, some of the uh, ingredients used in these are now banned, or you can't get them, or you know, everything has has to be watered down. So I think. His sort of main impetus was to um, sort of re-inject some of that sort of uh, powerhouse style fragrances back into the, into the market. So Mousse Illuminate, the one we're going to look at today, is a green fougere, which is some, you know, it's a, it's a world I, or a genre of perfumery that I really enjoy. Um, and I have done for a long time. I put that down to being uh, an addict of polo green when I was in my youth, which was my signature scent. I wore it all the time and, and loved it. So if we look at Mousse Illumine, we have, if we look at the, uh, the notes anyway, we have tree moss, we have frankincense, we have artemisia, we have laurel leaves, cedarwood, white flowers, and white musk. And um, Manuel says, this is a dreamlike forest with green lichen emanating a bright silver glow. So here's my sample of it. And as per usual, I'm wearing it now, but I'll spray a little bit more for the purposes of the review. Now, what do you get? Well, you get a bit of green heaven, to be honest. Now, I have a few fragrances that sit in this world, so I need to find out, is this going to be something that I'm going to want to purchase? Because when you consider that I already have Auto Perez's Viridi, I have this bad old boy, which is Holston Z14, possibly my favourite of all the green fougeres. Um, and then when you take a fougere into the sort of bar barbershop world, you come into the territory of this guy, which is Analyze's Beach Hut Man, a fragrance I really, really rate as well. So with this fragrance, I will be completely honest, I've, wore, I've worn this a couple of times now. I was blown away by it. Um, I was basically what happened. I was filming a review, um, and then I heard a knock at the door. So I finished the review, opened up the door. Postman was there, and my sample had arrived. So I had a shower and sprayed it. Fell in love with it, and wore it to work straight away. And this is how I, I can tell you now what I know about the performance. The performance on this is amazing. You get twelve hours four to five hours of really, really solid projection. It's an absolute beast. Um, and, you know, when I was mentoning sort of 80s powerhouses being turned into, to, you know, what Manuel was trying to do is kind of resurrect these 80s powerhouses. He's completely succeeded with this. This is like, it's like someone's got, gone back in a time machine um, and just made Polo Green, but made it so much better. They are quite similar to me. You get a sort of a, a damp, wet, earthy almost yeah like wet and earthy smell from it as it opens and then it just punches through every note is amazing the moss is like nothing i've ever smelled um you know and i think i'll try and cast my mind back to polo green when it was sort of quite quite new to me anyway in sort of like the late 80s and it just seems so pungent so powerful so so punchy just like this this is something else and sadly for me I'm gonna to need to buy it, I think. I, re I, I do think there is a place in my collection for it because it's like crack. Once you've smelt it, you don't wanna stop smelling it. And then I, I hate the fact that the hype, you know, the hype machine's taken hold and I've sort of bought into it. And I don't like to be influenced by things like that, but I have been. Um, 
And the other thing is, the hype machine is real because these are people that are interested in fragrances. They all collect or they buy or they, you know, they review and they're genuinely interested in these. And this is a perfect example of the hype machine working well. It's an amazing fragrance. I cannot recommend this strongly enough. It's an absolute blinder. A real fougere powerhouse, just like, you know, I remember as, as a youngster, um, which has sadly gone. I mean, Holston Z14 is a beautiful, soapy, green, cinnamony, spicy monster. Um, but this outperforms it massively. Viridi is a green, minty, spicy, fragrant weirdness that I really, really enjoy. But this app performs it. Amouage's Beach Hut Man is an absolute beast. I don't think anything can outperform that, in all honesty. Um, but this is comparable. This actually smells like it could easily have been in that sort of, um, you know, that Midnight Flowers range from Amouage with Bracken Man, with Sunshine Man, with Beach Hut Man. This kind of sort of is like a, the missing link between them. It's um, He's done such a really good job of this. I can't wait to try more and I can't wait to buy it. I'm certainly after one. Um, if you, I, th I think you can get a sample set from Rogue Perfumery and I strongly recommend you do it. If you like Green Fougeres or or things like that, um, you know, that kind of powerhouse from, from, from yesteryear sort of thing, then please get, an, get a sample set and have a go at it. Really, really impressive. As I said earlier, the longevity on this is astronomical. It's really, really good. You get a good 12 hours, but it's it projects very well to start off with, um, and you get a good four hours of pretty good projection, and then it kind of sits closer to the skin, but in a really nice way. It smells very grown up. It's a mature fragrance. I would say it definitely leans masculine, but you know, I'll be, I'll, my friend that sent me this is, is a woman and she loves it, absolutely loves it, and I can see why. So yeah, it's, it is unisex if it's, um, if, if the female is a brave person that likes a masculine selling, smelling fragrance, then it is for them, definitely. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. I am, it's been a while since something's knocked me on the arse quite as well as this has, and I'm so impressed with it. I just, it captures the forest. Yes, it captures the earth in the forest. There's a richness to it as well. There's a vibrancy to it. it uh, the, the woods, everything. Again, the blending is perfection. Every note that's mentioned in that listing, listing is there. Uh, and, it, and it's just, it's like a symphony. It screams quality. It's, um, I'm gushing again. Sorry about that. Well, listen, get yourself a sample of this. It's absolutely stunning. Cannot recommend it enough. Sorry for the... Uh, Ooh, gushy review because I, I'm just a bit overexcited by this, I think, to be honest with you. So once again, thank you ever so much for your time. Um, very, very quick review today. Um, I just wanted to get this filmed and get this out there as quickly as I could because uh, this needs to be, you know, everyone needs to know about this. Anyone that's got an interest in fougeres and sort of masculine fragrances, they need to get their nose on this because it's a wonderful, wonderful frag. So thank you very much for your time um, and we will see you on the next review. Cheers. Bye.